Hey guys, welcome back to the trail and um, let's go say hello to the orphan, shall we? Holy. Welcome back to a Mercy Orphanage which has literally been rebuilt as it was before. Okay, this is a surprise. I managed to turn that black stain on the ground into this that quick. I think they built the building the same way, just a, a newer. Oh my goddess, this is wonderful. Estelle? Matron Teresa! Yeah, I thought it was you. Welcome back, I'm glad to see you. And you are a gate, yes? That's right, been a while, ma'am. Yeah, we met last met during your mess with Clem, yes? Been a while. Thanks so much for the help back then. Uh, no sweat it, really. I'm sorry I haven't started by since then. Oh, congratulations on getting your orphanage rebuilt. I'm amazed though, it looks pretty much exactly how it used to be too. Uh, I know it sounds silly to ask them to build it this that way. But it makes it easy for the dev team. I can't imagine this orphanage looking any other way. It's just one of the same. Yeah, I think you're right. So the kids inside? No, actually I'm normally of my class. A travelling priest comes by once a week and holds a Sunday school. Okay, that's a bit of a problem though. So you actually aren't supposed to ask us kids about something on top of what just to saying hello. No? Was that have to do with the white man Polly saw? Ah, oh, probably yes. I see, so it was Polly who saw it. I always did peg her as a sharp one. I'll come inside, you can wait until we return. I do have some tea in my kettle and a few snacks too. Thanks! What's up? Tea not to your liking? Major Teresa, you're not going to ask about Joshua, are you? Ah, uh, Chloe already told me everything. She was easily in. She needed to unburden her soul onto someone when she found out. Estelle, you've been through so much. Ah, come on, if you say things like that, I. I can't hold it in. No need to hold it in, you shouldn't. I'm often too familiar with how it feels to lose someone important. No, no, don't say anything. I may not be able to be able to be a mother for you, but at the very least, I can hold you for a little while. Ah, well, that was embarrassing. And here I wanted to show show how big a tough race a woman now. That's right. You are seeing a race tonight now, aren't you? Congratulations. Uh, I'm still just kind of green, to be honest. Speaking of my little crying jag, though. Teresa, you mentioned Chloe warned you about us? Yeah, about you and Joshua specifically. She saw her precious friend suffering and felt powerless to do anything for them. She struggled with it. She desperately wanted to help you. Precious friends, huh? I kind of feel awful how she's been tearing herself up so much over it. But I'm glad she cares. We really need to go see her soon. I believe the Genesis campus is closed to visitors right now due to the end of term examinations. We should be over soon, though. You can see her then. Sounds like a plan. Also, you know, the kids are a little late, aren't they? Don't remember Sunday school being this long. I may be playing at a village after class. A new travelling priest has been coming to by. Just seems like he's fond of children. A new travelling priest, huh? Why does that sound so familiar? We should head over to Manoy to check him out. Bring the kids back if we need be. Good idea. Are you sure? I wouldn't want to trouble you. No problem. Think of it as thanks for great tea and snacks. Sides, you owe a big one for letting you do quite like that, right? Hey. Thanks so much. I'll be waiting for your return. Hey, you are. On the road again. The matron still blows me away, but I was impressed with her before, but man. I can't help but feel humbled by anyone like that, you know. The Queen's the same way. Hey, you too, Agate. Yeah, she kind of reminds me of Mum that way. Oh yeah, the old man's wife. She died in the war, didn't she? Hmm. Hey, it's something wrong. Nah, just... Women are strong, you know? Stronger than you'd think. What's this all of a sudden? I'll let it go, I'm rambling or something. Come on, let's go collect the kids. I'm glad we're seeing this different side to him. These guys drop something I want to try and find, because if you look at their list, they have a river bug. I think that might be bait, but it's worth killing them to try and get it, because it might be um, an ingredient.
that's an experience is a good experience. And in I go. And here's Minoria. Haven't been here haven't been here since that whole stolen donations thing. Well let's talk about last episode. So it's quite as a church it looks like. Ain't nothing wrong with that, I like it. Your hometown of revenue is pretty quiet too, if I remember. I guess. Anyway, kids are at Sunday school somewhere in the village. Let's look for them. I think I know where it's gonna be, it's gonna be that building at the top. I'm actually going to go to White Magnolia first. Rest up. Hundred mirrors always worth a heal. So I don't think it's going to be me out of his house. I think it's going to be in this building, which says Sunday School. Do you reckon? Sunday school, class in session. Oh, here's a Sunday school. You must sign to up. I guess they're sitting in class. Could be. Let's take a look inside. I might finish for a day and forgot to take a sign down. Okay, let's see. Wait a sec, I know that guy. They do not deserve your sympathy. In truth, Pedro did not think Duke Gaston would be back down so easily. Oh, what the machinations of that foul mass puppeteer, Harlequin? Capri, Pedro's teacher, seems to know a jester, but simply dodged any questions about him being with frustrating vagueness. Regardless, Pedro knew another battle would come on soon. He would have to upgrade a blue knight if he hoped to emerge victorious. Oh, Pedro. A slight irritated yet comforting voice snapped Pedro from his reverie. Do you wish for your tea to grow cold? The clear blue eyes, which met his own, carried her own message. It'll be alright. Pedro, a little embarrassed, dug his tea and drank deeply. It was enough to simply have this moment with her. The end. That's a dull night, kids. Ah, that's it. But what about the fight with Harlequin? Oh, Clem, you're such a dummy. That was a wonderful ending. And you just know Pedro and Tia go on and get married and live happily ever after. So romantic. Yeah, we got married and be happy. I want some of that tea. Capri's so cool. I like how some of the kids have got new pictures. Here. Yeah. All 22 chaps of a dull night in one sitting with a bunch of ambitious kids. You want to take challenges? Right, kiddos, that's enough. One day, class is over. Ah. Thank you for teaching us, Mr. Graham. Okay, never underestimating this group of kids again. Yo, who's at the door? Class just wrapped up, so come on in. Ha, <laughs> you noticed me? Guess I took my nose a little too far, so for intruding. Huh? Hey! What? Estelle! Hey kids, great to see you again. Are you guys doing okay? Holy moly, did you come to play? This is great, it's been forever. Miss Estelle, play with me. Welcome back. We haven't lost any energy, it seems. Father Kevin, it's been a while. Ah, she remembers me. Of course I do. Wow, though, you really are a priest, despite my get-up. Really? What other hate are my awesome duds? But hey, what are the chances we'd hear again of all places? Could this be fate? Ah, I see. So you met Father Kevin before, Estelle. The world really is a small place. I know, right? Craziness. Thanks for lunch, by the way. It was excellent. No, no, it's no trouble. Besides, it's the least I can do in return for what you've done for the children. Hey, Estelle, how come Joshua's not with you today? Ah, you see, he's pretty busy with something, so he couldn't come today. Ah, too bad. I want to see Joshua to see the orphanage we all fixed up. Me too. I want to see him dressed up like a princess again. So pretty. <laughs> anyway, you guys are at Sunday school for a while. What was you reading when you came in? Some kind of novel? It's called The Dull Knight. It's an awesome action story about fights between puppeteers. Oh no, it wasn't. It was sort of brains. It was romance. A desperate love between noble lady and common man. Desperate love. It's a young adult novel series I bought with me when I came to La Belle. I plan on reading it to the kids a little at a time, but they, um, 
convince me to do it all in one go. Whew. I guess the way you caught up with stuff like that backfired there. Well, thank you for your devotion, Kevin. You'll be heading back to ruin now, I take it? Yeah, next logical step, really. Got other villagers to visit, so I need to hop on an airship soon. Speaking of, how come you and your own new self are still? Brace of business, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Actually, right, right on that note, we came out here to ask someone about something. I believe you wanted to ask about the white man, Polysaur. Oh, yeah, that thing. Hey, you want to ask me stuff? Yeah, Polly, we have a few questions. Can you tell us about the white man you saw? The white man was a white man. He was spinning like a top. It was neat and fun. Um, we were hoping for a bit more. Uh, let me try and explain that a bit better. It was about four days ago. Polly was outside, just spacing out, you know. Kind of usual, kind of usual for her. Then she saw a white man floating in the air. Yeah, it was dancing around in circles in the sky. When I tried to talk to him, he bowed and flew away like a birdie. You were totally asleep and dreamed of the whole thing. I mean, that's the lamest ghost story ever. I thought she might be dreaming at first, but it seems someone else saw it too. Right, Daniel? I only saw it a little, though. That night I saw a weird white shadow flying off to the east. White shadow, okay. Well, two kids seeing it. I'm a lot more inclined to believe it. How's the act just bowing down when spoken to, though? Hey, Polly, did you get a good look at his face? I don't know what his face looks like. He was wearing a weird mask. A mask? What hard kind of ghost wears a mask? Hey, Polly, you need to save his stuff. You never mentioned that before. And no one asked. Well, mask aside, it seems it wasn't just a dream. Once Daniel told me about it, I contacted Gil to, just in case. We've been watching it ever since then, but there's no sign of it. Well, thanks for your time, ma'am. This gives a lot more to think about. Hey, Estelle, A8, whenever you're in Route 1, you're more than welcome to stop by. Father, I'll see you next time as a class, I hope. Yeah, you bet. Absolutely. I'll drop by every time I have a chance. See you, Father Kevin. You too, Estelle, and bring Joshua next time, too. Man, those kids are energetic. Gotta wonder though, whether or not their matron qualifies as for sainthood. Because every single one of them was amongst the most polite, wonderful kids I've ever met. Yeah, matron Teresa's amazing. There's actually another uh, girl who helps out here too. She's been with the school exam, so we couldn't get on here today, yo. Okay. Anyway, I'm heading back to Ruan for a bit. What about you guys? Well, we asked everything we need to over here. The road's always better with company, so let's head out. Okay, it's decided then. Off we go to Ruan. Yay, we've got a new party member. I'm not sure if he actually officially joined us last time, so let's have a quick check what it's like. He's got a very unique ornament. He's definitely a healer. All quartz okay, attack. Interesting, he has to have a black ornament there. Gains my attack. If I give you the uh, gold one, you gain Antisept and Stone Impact. Always, always better having your healer that. I'm actually going to not go back to um, town just yet. I'm going to test him out against this guy. Chain. So he's got... Oh, this is my friend. Do you have a um, crossbow? 
He does his range character always nice. Crest is Protect from Rebirth. That's a mute. Crest. Cross gear rage. Got a combo attack can steal blade and arrows. Sacrifice CP to raise CP of others, very useful. Uh, block is attack, blocks to attack. attack. Yeah, I definitely have to push him back if he's a uh, crossbow user. Master Carapus, I've already got one of those. Firebolt. Firebolt. Oh, it'll work. This is a critical attack anyway. Easily dead. Care for a rematch. Just didn't get that thing I wanted though, annoyingly. So I'm actually not going to go up here and rest. I'm actually going to go up here and travel to the other side of Minoria. To see if I can... I don't think there's anything in here which was interesting. Nope. So there's any enemies out here I haven't fought yet. It's still about ingredient hunt. Good new. As are you. So you have Jellison already got that. Don't need you. So you're all useless to me. Water. Hey, might as well do it all like that. So now, can I kill him? Go for a jabber first. Pocket arc. And can I kill that guy with this gun? That's not a creature. Yes, I can. All right, what's next? What's next is the end of a battle. And I fought these things before. Uh, got nothing interest to me. Not actually that, that uh, close range, to be honest. If I attack you, I keep a father 
further away. Of ingredients which I don't really need to be honest. Turn around, please. Thank you. Please drop the thing I'm looking for. The game wants me to kill him like this. There we are. Don't think there's anything else interesting with a lighthouse. I'm going to carry on wandering around like this. Join me next time when I'm hopefully back at the village. Unless something interesting happens. Bye bye.